Hello everyone, I'm Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia. This video might get a little deep. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my favourite book, It's Rogers and Hammerstein Conviction, and how I feel about all that. <laughs> to that one subscriber, you know who you are. Thank you. You are the reason this video exists. So last week I finished rereading this book. It's called Accidents of Nature by Harriet McBride Johnson and it is one of, if not my favourite books of all time. It's set at a disability summer camp in 1970 and our main character Jean is there for the first time. And even though she's disabled she thinks she's pretty normal, she considers herself to be pretty normal. But when she gets to camp she meets Sarah, Sarah, it's spelt without an H but I've always said Sarah, that could be wrong. Anyway, she meets this girl and her world changes forever. Now I don't know if you can see that quote on my pinboard up there, and even if you can you might not be able to read it, but it's from The Fault Now Stars. Sometimes you read a book and it fills you with this weird evangelical zeal and you become convinced the shattered world will never be put back together unless and until all living humans read the book. That is the way I feel about accidents of nature. As someone with the same disability as Jean, it changed my views on disabilities. So go read it. Anyway, getting on to the Rodgers and Hammerstein connection, there are quite a few songs that appear in the book as sort of motifs. And the most used and most obvious of all of these is You'll Never Walk Alone from Carousel. So a few weeks back I made a video about Rodgers and Hammerstein and just their musicals in general. Click the card. But of course I'm going to talk about Carousel a bit more now. So Carousel was Rogers and Hammerstein's second show and it came out in 1945 and was based on this 1909 play. I didn't try to pronounce it in the other video and I'm not going to try and pronounce it here. Anyway, it's set in the late 19th century, which I didn't realise at all until I was making the notes for this video. It's the story of this man called Billy Bigelow who meets and marries Julie Jordan in what is quite possibly the most insta-love love story I have ever seen. And Billy works as a barker at a carousel, hence the name of the show. So pretty soon Julie ends up getting pregnant, but long before the baby's born Billy ends up dying. But then 15 years later for one day he's allowed to come back from the other side and make amends and see his daughter and Julie and hopefully gain a path to heaven. I'm not going to go into the whole he beat his wife thing and that's why he needs to make amends because it's a delicate topic and it is not really a detail that's relevant to the video. You'll Never Walk Alone is one of, if not the, most famous song in the musical. It's first sung to Julie by her cousin Nettie right after Billy dies and it appears again at the end when Billy is down on earth watching his daughter graduate. Given all that it's pretty easy to work out what it's supposed to mean. In fact I think it's pretty easy to work it out just from the title alone. You can get through the hard times, you'll always have somebody with you, etc, etc. It's hardly original, but the message that you can work through tough times and there will always be someone there for you even when you don't feel like it is a very nice message. Now I don't hate the song, but my apathy, I guess, for it comes from the fact that I first found out about it through accidents of nature. I didn't know it was from Carousel until after I read the book. And that's the real reason, because it is so different in Accidents of Nature. So as I said, Accidents of Nature is set in the 1970s at a summer camp for children with disabilities. And when our main character Jean, who has cerebral palsy, just like me, gets there it's her first experience with any other disabled people. And then she meets Sarah, that's how I'm saying it, who has muscular dystrophy and from what I can tell is pretty much a self-insert for Harriet McBride Johnson herself. And Sarah has some very strong and radical opinions about disabilities and how disabled people are treated in society. And that changes Jean's world forever. All the songs in the book are used in such a way that they relate back to disabilities and how society treats it. And You'll Never Walk Alone is the biggest. And they're all musical ones. Man of La Mancha's The Impossible Dream is the other one that appears. And it is presented as what is meant to be inspirational, what society thinks is meant to be inspirational for the disabled characters, because, quote, they act like we show spirit in just being alive, persistence in not curling up and dying, determination in doing ordinary things, courage in showing our faces in public. 
it's insulting really. That pretty much explains it in a nutshell. And You'll Never Walk Alone is, as I said, bigger, but it almost flips it on its head. By all the able-bodied people who run the camp, the song's presented in much the same way as The Impossible Dream. I am in no way an expert on what it was like living in the 70s with a disability, and I won't pretend to be. But from what I can gather from reading the book, there are a lot of telethons and fundraisers and people trying to make life easier for the disabled kids, but in doing so kind of forgetting about their humanity, forgetting that they're people. So by the end of the book, Jean and Sarah have turned the statement completely literal. You, the disabled person, will never walk, literally, alone, without our help. Because when you're disabled, you can't do anything on your own. And when you do something that for everybody else would be mundane, you're an inspiration. The other song used in the book is from My Fair Lady, so they're all musical songs. And it's on the street where you live. And that wouldn't seem like it would match at all with the other two songs. And considering it's one of the performances at the Camp Talent Show, that kind of makes sense. But the bit that's quoted in the book is, People stop and stare, they don't bother me, for there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. And quoting that specific bit makes it just as powerful as the others. I think we've come a long way in the 50-ish years since Accents of Nature was set in terms of disabilities, but I don't think we're there yet. I hate the news stories about kid with insert condition here is doing insert activity here. I don't think they would be news stories if the person didn't have a disability. And I wouldn't be thinking that if I hadn't read Accidents of Nature. The way Harriet McBride Johnson uses the songs in this book is absolutely genius. But it's not even how You'll Never Walk Alone is presented in the book. The fact that it's used completely literally and shows how insensitive people were to disabilities back then isn't really why I don't like the song all that much. It's really simply just that it appears in Accidents of Nature. I hadn't watched Carousel when I first read the book and I didn't know that's where the song was from. I didn't even know it was a Roger Van Hammerstein song. And because of that I will forever connect it more to Accents of Nature and Camp Courage and what it stands for in that more than I will Roger Van Hammerstein. And that's everything I've got for you today guys. I know this was probably a little deeper than most of my stories but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know how you feel about this sort of thing in the comments and please read the book. If I can get one person who watched this video to read the book, I will have done my duty. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my video next week. So long, farewell!